This is what it looks like when you crack your knuckles under an MRI. There are many bad habits that are frowned upon when done in public, and one of them is knuckle cracking. Despite it being frowned upon, you have probably tried it more than once or are someone who does it regularly. Statistics have shown that up to 50% of people crack their knuckles. Although the sound it makes can drive people crazy, many seem to enjoy this behavior and even find the popping sound greatly satisfying. But what's actually going on inside your body when you crack your knuckles? The popping sound is actually gas bubbles bursting in the synovial fluid, which is the fluid that helps lubricate your joints. It is very similar to when you put immense pressure on a balloon, causing it to pop. The reason it is not possible to crack the same knuckle twice in a row is that those gas bubbles take time to form again in the joint fluid. Contrary to popular belief, cracking your knuckles will not give you arthritis. Since it's only gas bubbles bursting in the joint, it does not strain the ligaments or the tissues or overextend them enough to cause arthritis. A researcher named Donald L. Unger conducted an experiment on himself in which he cracked his knuckles of his left hand only twice a day for 60 years. He then examined x-rays and found no difference in arthritis between both of his hands. Another larger study concluded that there are no links between knuckle cracking and arthritis. There have been a few reports of dislocated joints and tendon injuries, but that depends on how much force was applied and if the joint was moved in the wrong direction. Usually, cracking your knuckles should not cause pain, swelling, or change the shape of your joint. So if you notice these issues, then they're probably from something else. Another aspect that tends to confuse people who crack their knuckles is that it does not relieve tension or stretch the fingers or cause more mobility. There is no evidence that cracking knuckles makes more room in the joint. It is nothing more than a way to release some nervous energy. It's very much like twirling your hair or tapping the ground with your foot. Stress can also largely contribute to making the practice even more addictive. More people seem to do it to comfort themselves without causing any harm. And most of the time, it ends up becoming a bad habit where people find themselves doing it unconsciously many times throughout the day. Some people even do it simply because they like the sound it makes. There are many myths and superstitions out there about knuckle cracking, and some of them are downright silly. For example, some people say that the number of noises you hear when you crack your knuckles tells you how many people are in love with you. Clearly, there aren't any scientific studies to support this idea, but we'll keep you posted if that changes. So in a nutshell, the only real problem with knuckle cracking is annoying the people around you. If you would like to stop cracking your knuckles, a great way to start is to think about what is causing you stress in the first place, then identify ways to address it. You can try deep breathing to release any tension or squeeze a stress ball instead. You can also practice awareness and make a conscious decision to stop when you find yourself cracking your knuckles.